Morning, guys. We're at Lake Sinclair uh, in the central highlands of Tassie. Uh, we're about to catch the ferry across to Narcissus Hut, and then from there we're going to head uh, back to Byron Gap, climb Mount Byron, and then head back down through the Cuvier Valley back to here and uh, camp at Lake Petrarch on the way, uh, which will be tonight. So one night out in the bush and then uh, back tomorrow. This little guy isn't coming uh, on the walk, but is coming on the boat, so that'll be fun. Cool. So uh, on the way to Narcissus, we've just made a quick stop at Echo Point. Uh, we're just checking out the, the hut here and the, uh, the campsite, and it's uh, really quite nice. So we've uh, arrived at Narcissus Bay, and uh, we've got the packs on, and we're just about to head off. So we head off uh, initially down the overland track back the direction we've come, uh, but then we'll turn off towards Byron Gap and the Cuvia Valley. Hi guys, so we've reached the uh, turn off to Byron Gap uh, off the overland track and we're just uh, turning off now and uh, heading up. So we've just had some lunch here at Byron Gap and uh, we're about to turn around now and head up Mount Byron. Uh, so we'll drop the packs off at the turn down here and uh, it should be about an hour up and back, uh, or an hour each way that is. So uh, I couldn't find the, uh, the description of the turn off as described in the Ables. It talked about some tree branches wrapped in chicken wire and a, a half a tree trunk. All we've been able to see is these, uh, this rock can on the track uh, beside us. Uh, this is clearly the turn off so we're going to we go off here. It looks like there's a, a bit of a a log across the uh, gully and then we'll go up the hill. So we've started the uh, climb up Mount Byron and there appears to be a reasonable sort of track to follow at this stage. Uh, so hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. So uh, after a fair bit of climbing, we've made the summit of Mount Warren and it's the, uh, the summit rock can just behind me there and uh, the views are absolutely spectacular. Uh, I think we're running a little bit tight for time though so we'll probably have a, a quick stop here and then I'll be back down and uh, head down to our camp. So that's uh, Lake Petrarch down there and at the, uh, the far tip is the beach where we're hoping to camp this evening and then tomorrow we'll walk the rest of that valley down to the end, back down to the bottom of Lake Sinclair. So we've uh, made it down off Mount Byron and uh, we're continuing on to uh, Lake Petrarch where we're hoping to camp for tonight. Uh, it's uh, just gone four o'clock now, um, so we're hoping that we're going to make it before dark, otherwise we might have to find camp somewhere a bit sooner because um, we'll be pitch black at six. So we're hoping that uh, we'll be there well and truly by 5.30. But, uh, we'll keep heading on. We're at uh, Lake Petrarch. Uh, we got here in the almost on dark last night, so I didn't do do much filming on the way. Um, we were very sort of tight on time to get here, and then we're setting up just before it got dark. Uh, it's a beautiful spot, though. Um, would have been nice to have more time here in the afternoon. Uh, 
quite cold overnight. We're going to be ice on the tent this morning, uh, but absolutely beautiful spot. We've uh, departed, departed Lake Petrarch and uh, we're heading back to Cynthia Bay and uh, a bit later start than we expected. It's uh, nearly 10 o'clock now, but uh, should be a good walk back. So that's Mount Orthrys, which was a, uh, an optional side trip off this uh, track. Uh, we don't think we're going to do that today just because we're a little bit late getting going and uh, we want to get back to the car at a reasonable time. So maybe do that one another day. made it to Waters Meet. This is the uh, pretty much the end of the walk. We've just got a short walk now back to the lodge, so I'll probably end the video here. Um, it was a good trip. Uh, Mount Byron was amazing. Uh, Lake Petrarch is also a really beautiful spot. Um, I'd recommend both. I don't know that I'd recommend the Cuvier Valley walk um, unless you're up for a real challenge. It was uh, really muddy, boggy, um, quite a hard walk through the button grass, um, but it was a beautiful spot. But yeah, just very, very hard walk. Um, so if you're going to do Mount Byron, maybe get the ferry to Narcissus, do that and then walk back on the, the overland track. But uh, all up, great trip. Yeah.